Hi Deck, welcome to the Pro Squash Challenge here at St George's Hill. Hi. Congratulations, a couple of weeks back you won the English Closed. How did that feel to be playing a tournament domestically during these Covid times? Yeah, really good, really good. Just happy to be back playing some competitive matches. You know, it's been a few months since we've had anything on the tour and we're back in Egypt in a Black Ball Open in a few weeks time. So it was, it was great timing to get a few matches in. Yeah, really good. And what's your draw like in Egypt? So I've got a Mexican uh, chap first round. I don't know too much about him. Um, but of course, the first rounds in all of these tournaments are, are very tough these days. And if I come through that, then I've got um, Mustafa Assal in the second round. So yeah, yeah, not a bad draw and uh, something to look forward to. Yeah, well, good luck in, in that event. And also the match with Tom tonight. How many times have you two played over the years? Yeah, I think we must have played five or ten times, uh, to be honest, more so um, domestically than on tour. But uh, yeah, always enjoy those matches, played in good spirits, good respect. So yeah, stuff to look forward to. Great, well all the best for tonight and for the Black Ball too. And uh, have a good one. Thanks a lot. Hi Tom, welcome back to the Pro Squash Challenge Series here at St George's Hill. Um, how are you feeling about your match tonight with Deck James, recently crowned English champion? Yeah, looking forward to it. I mean, um, at the moment we're sort of limited to the amount of competitive match play we can get, so playing somebody of the calibre of Deck is uh, obviously very welcome. And we've got um, PSA sort of starting up, well, not starting up, but seems to be getting a bit busier again. So sort of gearing up for, for tournament play, being able to get a match, match like this is really, really positive. And are you going to Egypt yourself? I am, yeah. Yeah, we're heading off in a couple of weeks. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to that. And what's your draw like? I've got um, Edmund Lopez, Spanish guy, first round. So uh, I've played him a couple of times. Um, he's a solid player, so sort of expecting a tough one. And then the winner is to play Sorov, Gosal, who I've played a lot. And uh, domestically, are you looking forward to getting back to uh, playing Premier League and... Uh, as you said, a, a, a PSA tour that which hopefully will start growing again soon. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I was, I was actually just talking to Derek now about it. We, um, we really miss those kind of the domestic leagues. Uh, at the forefront of that, obviously, is PSL. So, yeah, we're really hoping that sort of uh, things like that can, can really kick off again and um, just gives another opportunity for match play and to play in front of spectators and, and all those sorts of things. And are you missing playing in front of the crowds? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not a particularly extrovert guy, um, but I've always much preferred playing when there's people watching and um, just a bit of atmosphere. And you know, my favourite events on PSA are events like New York and, and sort of the hustly bustly events, Canary Wharf. Um, so yeah, I, I've got to got to admit, I do I do miss having a few people there watching. Well, let's hope they'll be in to watch you soon. Absolutely. All the best for Egypt and for tonight's match. Cheers. Welcome to the St George's Hill Club, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for the 11th Pro Squash Challenge Series match between Tom Richards of Surrey Serving and Declan James of Nottinghamshire. Tom, who reached the highest world ranking of 12 in the world, facing Declan, whose highest world ranking is 15. Declan, the younger man, the taller man in blue, receiving serve. Looking forward to an intriguing battle between these England teammates. We're on the all glass court at St George's Hill. It's been the scene of many a Channel Vass, top class battle, hosted PSA, PSL finals. Declan puts in a short cross court drop to open the scoring. Slotted volley drop takes him to two love. 
looking calm and assured at the moment. Viewers may um, have watched the Jazz Hutt and Gina Kennedy match, which took place a couple of days earlier. Well, the uh, pleased to say the temperature on court is probably a couple of degrees higher. The men are hitting the ball just that little bit harder. Slightly warmer on there than it was the other night. So as you can see, a lively front ball, but as the ball softens up, the shot will certainly take us take a great length and a good shot. As Declan proved there. Three points, three winners. Picking his moment all three times. It was the right time to go short. Tom taking the tee and a simple left. Deck favouring the uh, backhand serve from the forehand side. Indeed. One step to the tee. Slightly better angle. Good boast from Tom. And you're always watching there. You never lose sight of what your opponent's doing when you serve backhand from that side. Slightly harder for beginners to do. Just getting in front. Tom yet to find a rhythm. This time a good shot from Tom. Quick drop from the back. It's a good shot that the pros all have in their armories. And they can threaten the drive from the back and play either a boast or a drop. There's a trickle boast on the backhand side from Declan. Tom reacted a little late. Again, the element of surprise coming in. Aficionados will notice that the trickle boast has become narrower in the modern game than it was in the old game. It was played much more like a conventional boast and sent further across the court. The current crop of pros favour that slightly narrow one. That was an unintentional one there from Tom. Unable to follow up with a good dying length, he just clipped the side ball on his volley there, which meant Depp was able to keep control of the tee. See Tom moving well and still motivated in his 35th year. Shot selection from Declan James. Remember Declan James turning up at St George's Hill. In the very space where the glass court is now, we had the referee's office for the Surrey Junior Open when he was a young lad, turned up with his friend Lewis Walters, who went on to be a professional player and coach. So many of those young people who 
played in the Surrey Junior Open over the years, went on to become professionals. Good boasting from Tom. Can be a good tactic against a tall player, making them get down low in the front of the court. This player's quite tall, but Deck is slightly taller than Tom. Ooh, Tom should have made more of that. He was probably very surprised that Declan sprayed it, put it in the middle of the court. Didn't quite move his feet enough to deal with that efficiently. As usual in a Tom Richards match, a great pace. That was a good wrong footing boast. Deck probably thought Tom was going to drive straight there. Good hold on the volley from Deck. He pulled Tom up behind him, held the central position very cleanly, and then pushed him back again to dying there. Subtle way the top players to work into the play. Tom getting a little bit of a go himself there before Deck hits a good length to his back. Little bit of a soft let there, I feel. I don't like that when when players turn and it's for safety reasons, but I felt that that was going to be harder to play having turned. Harsh in a match with no let so far to not give a let for that. I think it was a little bit soft, and I think Beck knew what he was doing. But this pro squash challenge matches has been played in great spirit so far. Declan James takes an 8-4 lead. Pounces the ball several times before his serve, part of his ritual. Not as many as Nadal or Djokovic, thank God. Obvious differences in squash and tennis. Big difference is the amount of time players take between serves. Unforced error from deck. Puts Don, Tom back in hand at 5 8. Good length from Tom. Forcing another error. Make the serve down the middle there, and then a bit of variation. Normally a huge part of his game, the lob. Safety lap there. Sensibly called by Deck, because he could have gone cross court. So I'm almost getting the lob to die with a scrape, but he got it. Slightly lucky, and Deck's broken a racket here. So, fairly even Stevens. Tom's done well to come back into the game, partly through his own variation and good length, and also down to a couple of Tim James errors. Let's try that at home. They said the court was warmer than it was the other night for the match between Jas Jasmine Hutton and Gina Kennedy. But it's still dying in the back. 7-8, Tom Richards serving. Flamboyant cross-court Nick. Again, I didn't think that expected that. He was in a position where he possibly could have got it. It was a surprise element. 
he went up for the shot. I'm not sure even Tom thought he was going to play that. It just seemed on and he went for it. And it came off. That post has been starting to work for him when he's going backwards, sort of wrong footing post. But at that time, just clipping the top of the 17 inch tin, which these pros play on. The players play on a 19 inch tin. First real traffic problem. I'm going for that again. Putting himself in a bit of a scramble to stay in the point. He's back in control. Tom's playing at a very frenetic pace. Reasonably constructively. Forcing sheer relentlessness of that rally, forcing the arrow from deck. His shot selection has gone a little bit awry compared with the first part of the game. Nice. Good work, a drop from Tom. Not quite wide enough on the log, but it's better on the cross court, getting that really deep. And there we see the Aussie boast, made famous by Ross Norman and others, even though Ross Norman is from New Zealand, that they call it the Aussie boast. And again, it's another option, which you see players going into the back wall. They can fake to drive. Great shot from Jack James. Just enough to take the game. By 11 points to nine. Tom did the hard work of getting back into that game. And then it just ran away from him a little bit at the end. So great to see such free-flowing squash of a, of a formidable level here at St George's Hill in the Pro Squash Challenge. Don't forget to sign up for the Pro Squash Challenge YouTube channel, which shows the full matches plus the interviews with the players. All matches so far have been played at St George's Hill, but there's no reason why other clubs can't take them on. We've had interest from various countries of staging matches, but partly due to COVID-19, it's not viable to put on matches, particularly without crowds. And we're very grateful you know, to the St George's Hill Club and to various individual donations that have helped us raise enough money to give these players competitive games and adequate remuneration during this tough time. So, one game up. Declan James to serve. Tom straight back with a good width cross court return, but giving the front to Declan. And that's where he's so lethal, holding that tee. Very grooved on his volley drops too. Still bouncing around on the tee. When he gets there. to really get Declan off there so he can spend a bit more time there himself. That's a bit more like it. Gets the good length and another follow-up length. Forces the weak straight return. It goes out. Tom favouring a higher backhand serve there. That's always a useful one because you get the angle and then following it up with a drop. Just able to pin him back a bit more. Good variation on the serve. That 
So I'm going for the body line serve. Not quite enough attention to detail on that boast. Probably the right shot. Not quite steady enough that time. Fencing for position up and down the backhand. With variation from Tom, forcing the skid boast and deck out of the back one, then a weak boast. I was crying out for a drop shot there, but Tom put him back again, probably trying to lengthen the rallies to really find his feet in this game. Good shot selection. And again. Put Dak out of position twice, which has been rare in this match. Takes the lead. 3-2. Probably the slightly colder conditions, meaning that the boasts that would normally just go up are just clipping. It's in. So I'm going for that drop that's worked a couple of times from the back length from deck. Making the opponent. Ah, oh, and that's a superb shot. Absolutely superb. Didn't need much of a backswing. He really chopped it in. Hard, low, straight kill off the ground. Reasonable margin there. It's a fairly safe shot to play. Slightly lucky to get a let there, Tom. But all things considered. Probably would have got it, but whether he made enough effort or not might be debated. That is extended, and that time the boast worked. Tech caught. And where to play that one, he just about was there. Made a late attempt for it as it hit the sidewall. So I'm starting to groove his backhand drop. Great clearance there from both players. Good to see. Proves that players can clear. <laughs> can move correctly. Oh, beautiful little cross court drop. It's got to be the right time, but it's a wonderful shot to have in your armoury. Tom has a nice little cross-court drop. Top spun. He's really finding his feet now, Tom. Bit of a... Desperate hack boast. Not a great time to make an error. Because he really didn't want to let Declan back in the game cheaply. Still holds a 6-4 lead. Serve from deck, forcing Tom back. Great get. Tom, one of the fame, the fairest players. Well, most of the boys, are, boys and girls are fair, but Tom really is fair, sometimes to his own de detriment. I've seen him call balls down that are clearly up. So when it looks like he's scraped them back, he genuinely has. I lost three points a little bit too quickly for his liking there, Tom, so he's got to regroup, having, having had been extending the rallies. Got himself into trouble there, they look. It's a relatively new shot. I mean, people have always played Brett Martin, Tristan and Caro back in the 80s and early 90s. When they whack the ball straight up at the tee, you sometimes see it leading into a stroke situation. It didn't work for Tom that time. There's a lot more raw power. Fantastic squeeze from Declan James. Puts him back 
very much in command. Good return from Tom. Nice to see him following it up with a, a drop shot. Slightly short though, gives Deck a chance to control the two. Super boost. That did look tight from Tom, but I'm sure he got it. Tough ball to move for, and he came back a bit, a bit straight out of that. Couldn't quite get round it enough and clear. So it's a stroke to Deck James. Who leads 9 6. Another brilliant get and a scramble for that. Tom will do well to cling on here. Ooh. Very honest. I think it almost went elliptical, so definitely down. Point for Tom. Good body shape there to force the ball away from deck. Deck's staying calm. I'm getting onto that volley kill pretty early. Keeping him into contention. Another quick fire winner with a decent margin. Deck slightly slow to react. Game on again. Decent work from Tom. Great follow-up. If it's rally well, but deck, as this is want, gets back in the rally decently. Tremendous boast from Tom. They forgot to follow it up, but <laughs> rather belatedly arrived at the front left. Yeah. It's presented with an easy opportunity. So game ball, Tom Richards, 10-9. Another scrape. There is a little bit of sweat on that court, even though it's fairly chilly. Probably about 15, 16 degrees on there tonight. She would have been warm back in the 70s in some of these clubs without heating. Ten all. Tom stepping forward like a nice player there. Pounce on the volley. Well, that's a shot. To play under pressure, giving him another game ball. Going for that kill again, that's a great shot. Actually, slightly overhitting the width, which is good against the great volley. What a rally. Another pick up. Crazy. And what a hold. A good time to bring out the weapon, the hold and flick. Eleven all. Good serve from that forcing a slight weak return. Enabling himself to hold the tee. He pulled that a bit. Close to a stroke, but obviously no reviews. No players happy with the non controversial let ball there. Not 
not wide enough by Tom. And deck pounces. Game ball for a two love lead. Another top spin back and forth. Lifting well. Tom just keep in the rally. Goes for the backhand drop. Quite hard to love Deckin James, but a decent one. Oh! Scrambling around at the end. And Declan James takes the second game. Even though the scores are close, 11, 9, 13, 11. That's a commanding lead over his England teammate, Tom Richards. So can Tom respond? The crowd certainly hopes so. The crowd at home. Looking forward to getting crowds back it's going to be a long process in indoor venues i think but um, we miss having the glass court here at st george's hill filled with up to 260 people they literally are standing on the boxes in the galleries to sneak a view Hundred and sixty six seats and plenty of standing room. The court was built in two thousand and ten and it also extends into a doubles court. So it's been used by Commonwealth Games teams over the years. It's also been used for advertisements and T V shows, including Made in Chelsea. And so it's had plenty of use over the years. Um, we have a regular groups that play doubles down here. And the uh, ball extends either by four foot or eight foot. The next addition will be to have a, a, a tin that adjusts to the new World standard doubles height of 13 inches, which might not please some of the St George's Hall stall doubles players that will have to run a bit further to the front, but it makes it a little bit more of an exciting game for the professionals. Doubles is an important part of the Commonwealth Games and leads to medals, and medals lead to funding for a sport. So. England and Scotland have both been practicing their doubles as burning in the weights. As we start this third game, Tom Richards asking for what we thought was a simple let there. No review. And referee Charles the further it. He's done a great job, adamant that he got that one right, but it's hard to tell without the benefit of a replay. And that's interesting, Tom letting that slightly affect him. Snatched at that. Now he can't afford to make rash decisions like that. He's got a, oh, another one. Got to dig deep now. He's been playing so well, giving Declan James, the higher ranked player, a real run for his money.
but not in this game so far. All love to Declan James. Challenge against the top 20 player awaits. Nice little. Uh, great coverage by Det. And was the fact that it went straight back down the middle, full Tom. I was expecting something a bit wider. It was sort of yorked by the ball there. Five love deck. Varying the play, pinning Tom back. Well, he boasts not often seen in team, I suppose. A little bit more in the women's game. It was a safe working shot on that occasion. Good to see the variety. Tremendous length and width from Tom. Using the grippiness of the court wall. At the back. Make his ball go not quite wide enough, but he still retains the tee. Work step to the front. It's a good play from Tom, good dying length on his volley. Another volley burst, but we don't get many of those. Got away with it. Ooh. Probably more of a safety one, that one. Let, let Declan off of that. I'm going for the straight kill. Declan not quite choosing the right line, then deciding to play it. It would have been an interesting decision if he'd chosen not to there. 2 5, Tom serving. Rally up and down the back and then Tom switches play with the log. Nice to see him using a bit more variety. Gets onto the ball very quickly at the front. Tom Richards too quickly sometimes. Gets a bit frenetic. Tremendous court coverage by Tom. Forcing. Bit of an unforced error though from Deck, who had the front, had him scampering. But all credit. Always worth getting the ball back. I don't know what's going to happen. As you hit it down, you know, at the end point for you. And the very again, not quite wide enough, but good boast from Deck Jones. Whipping the boast in. Boasts from the middle have been reasonably successful tonight. The ones from further back. That had a lower percentage, but using that to great effect. Tom lifting, they're both looking at the ref. Oh, and then they decide to pull it up. Neither of them sure. Nobody quite sure. That's the fairest there. 6 3 to Deck James. Two love up. Too closely contested. Games. Tom Richards at the last chance. Saloon. Still looking to volley. Get in front of that. Good variety with the backhand drop from the back. Hit cross got another volley boat. Okay, forcing the weak shot. Just this thing. Force this. And pitches a higher backhand serve onto the side wall, which is where you want it to land. Getting a nice width on his lob there. That's a peach of a shot. And good use of the cross court job. Back slightly to the right of him. Tom on the middle. 
fading the ball away. It's reasonably safe and good angle to slot away. Colder conditions made it more slottable as well. Come down for that post. This time he's quicker onto it. A little bit headless. Oh, deck pulling it up for a simple let. Tom at 5 6. Tries to lob again, not quite wide enough, but certainly wide enough on that cross court. Great shot. Favouring bludgeoning at cross court. Deck a little bit slowed down on that. Thought Tom was going to go for a straight kill there, but the sheer velocity of his forehand cross court works well. Brings him back to Eden Stevens. Another good one. And certainly keeping himself in the match and keeping himself more composed with his variety. We're using the lob more than we've seen in the past. He's played some great matches on this court. Ended up getting a little stitched up and deck. Getting a fantastic dying length there. Tom out of position. To go 7 6 into a narrow lead in this third. Serve from there. Caught by surprise by the boast. Didn't expect it to be as good as that. off the gas a little bit. Puts Tom into a slender 8-7 lead. This deck makes an uncharacteristic, slightly lazy error. He goes for the one down the middle, Tom. Why is it behind his back? Sort of shot where Daryl Selby might have gone for shot of the month there. With a cross court nick behind his back. In a few. Good shot from Tom getting on early. And bludgeoning it again. Nine, Accurate and powerful. At the right time, pays dividends. Tom nine eight up. Lifting from pre under pressure at the front there, which is good to see. On the volley base. Good love again. Oh. Didn't see the straight drop. But got away with it to go 10-8 up. And game balls. Two game balls for Tom Richards. Beautiful drop. Good, good finish as well. So we really have a match on our hands now. Declan James, the narrow favourite, leads by two games to one. And the squash is really hotting up too. We've seen some amazing rallies. The Pro Squash Challenge now in its 11th match. Next week, we have the visit of incredible James Wilstrop. to St George's Hill and he takes on the local young pretender Charlie Lee. James is the Commonwealth Games champion and a former world number one.
almost unstoppable as a junior player. Had a tremendous rivalry with Nick Matthew. And I'm looking forward to um, talking to James about his latest book. So much more to James Wilstrop than just squash. Enjoyed reading his first, which was about squash. The second book, I believe, is a series of interviews. Should be a good read. Tom back on first. Still keen and eager. four years old. Both players off to the black ball open in Egypt. So, two games to one to Declan James. Tom Richards to serve. Has that shot down the middle again. Just makes the player think. Drop. A lovely length from Tom. Squash in this round. Okay. Using the chop. Just got chop. Wide enough on the lob from Tom all day, but Tom really making the most of that with a slam dunk. Sampras style. Good return from deck. Slightly casual. That boast. It's been brilliant when it's worked. It's also led to three or four errors, which have cost, cost Tom momentum at certain times. Deck spraying it a bit, putting in that narrow, narrow trickle boast. Tom didn't read it. He wasn't far off it. Stroke on the PSO tour. Tom, as I said, ridiculously fair sometimes. Plays on. Speak to his detriment. His deck controls now. Desperate. That will boast. Not wide enough from deck. Brilliant shot. Tom's still going. Ah, oh, what a shot to just. Hit out. It all went a bit frenetic. Tom won't be dwelling on spilt milk, but there was a a stroke there to be taken. Three run to deck, James. Tom hitting a reasonable dying length. I think deck did enough. Didn't put himself in a particularly bad position, and Tom was in the way, so it's just about to let there. Good width by Tom. It's important to get the width at all levels of the game. Not sure why he didn't go straight there, but he got, all, got the point in the end. When you play so fast like Tom does, sometimes it's hard to keep your peripheral vision. Certainly had it there. Very aware of the X positioning. And suddenly to play the straight drop when he hasn't played that many from the front. Gave that element of surprise to it which was very effective. Taking a lead now. 1-2 down but 4-3 up Tom Richards. Again varying the play very well. Gives him a chance to claim the tee. A good boast that time. But not wide enough on the follow up cross court. Oh. 
against a great volleyer like Deck James. That slightly wider cross court. Not been very effective. Deck getting in well and putting a good straight drive in there. Tom spraying it. And Deck doing what Tom should have done a couple of points earlier and claiming the point, quite rightly, from the spray backhand from Richards. Nice and relaxed Deck James. A mixture of good length and dying length. Slightly lucky when the ball stays nice and short, but it hits the, the side ball first. And it's meant to hit the front ball first. Sometimes they pay dividends. Variation with the lob serve from deck. These players volleying a lot, that takes a lot out of them. It shows how fit they both are. And a beautiful. Beautifully picked off volley drop by Declan James. Puts him into a 7-4 lead. 2-1-7-4. Good return from Tom Richards. He pummeled that down into the middle of the service box, mid back of the service box. Good dying length. That's where you want your straight returns of serve to go. Forcing the arrow from back. 5-7. Still frenetic. Oh, a little bit loose from Tom. Scrambling it back. Beautiful land. That goes for the Aussie boat. Beautiful shot from Tom, not long enough, and he gets. Finally, to put the ball out of Declan James's reach. Another brilliant rally, this Pro Squatch Challenge match here at St George's Hill has been full of them, entertaining points. I'm going for the nick. Oh, turned on it. Didn't. It's very safe there to play it. As experienced players like these two. Perfectly within his rights there, Tom, to play that like that, having turned on the ball. Seven all. Extra bounce from Tom as he steadies himself. And down the back end. Seeing every shot in the book here. Tom Richards punished by Deck James. Not getting quite a... A good enough width there. Deck edges ahead 8-7 in this fourth. 2-1 up. Good return from Tom. Follow up drop as well. Needs to get Declan off the tee there. It's doing too much work here. Good hold from Deck. He's still in it, Tom. Moving like a spring chicken. He got it again. And his perseverance was rewarded. That's all it was by the end. One of the fittest men in the game. He's had two bad injuries, Tom Richards, but he's much earlier in his career. And he's come back. Well, manages a squeeze that time. Can he level it to all his nine, eight up? Two games to run down. Good return from Deck. Tom not being able to get Deck back there. Just gets it again. Oh, a bit of sweat on the court. Nine all. Big point for both players. Good pace from Tom. Gets the whip. Using the overhead, overhit width to get out of trouble, Tom again. But that time the overhit width was punished. Came sufficiently off the back wall for Declan James to get his first match point. With a sweet forehand kill. 
for a dish serve. Fencing for position. Good shot from Tom. And again, he'll look back on this and possibly should have played a few more straight drops. Ten all. Exciting stuff. Again, Tom using that lob really well from the back of the court. Both from deck. Tom forced to go cross court. And that time, that was just a safety let. Deck didn't quite have enough. Of the ball to play his trademark kill there. It was still a safety let. As the player could have swung it across court. Tom not wide enough, but Deck failing to capitalise. Oh, there's that shot down the middle and Tom stitched himself up there. But he manages to just, 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 just get a let. And hardly say no let to Tom Richards when he's got absolutely everything back. He won't get that though. Ran very fast, wasn't really able to stop and didn't have much shot selection unfortunately from that forehand corner. But ended up hitting it rather tamely back to deck. So match point, 11-10, good boast from Tom, scrambled by deck. Not long enough by Tom, oh! First. A little bit of frustration. Tom came so close and Declan James runs out. The winner, 11-9, 13-11, 8-11, I hope you join us again soon for the next Pro Squash Challenge. Unlucky, Tom. Cheers. The second was probably key. You took a nice lead and then he came back at you and you managed to claw it all the way back and didn't quite take it. All, all credit to you for coming back in the third and running him ridiculously close in the fourth. Yeah, it was, um, it was kind of a, as you mentioned before, it's a ebb and flow to the match. Um, it was a strange one because I think Deck was, um, I, I think I was, I, I mean, if I remember correctly, I think I was ahead in the first and Deck came back and won it. And then I think it sort of was the other way around in the second and then sort of um, Deck snuck it in the end, but felt like they were two good quality games. And then the third and fourth, again, sort of nip and tuck the whole way, um, both playing good, attacking squash, both probably adapting to the conditions a bit better as the match went on as well, because... Uh, I felt like we both lifted a bit more and sort of attacked from, from better positions in that situation. And obviously disappointing to lose, you know, you never want to lose a match, but at the same time it was it was felt like it was really good quality squash and, and you know Dex really, really very strong player PSA uh, on PSA and you, you sort of it's it's these players that I like to test myself against and today, you know, Dex was too strong but I felt like I, I was very competitive and uh, moving well and sort of feel like overall my game's in good shape and sort of ready to, to take on events again. You certainly look fit and you're moving around like a spring chicken, <laughs> which I know, I know you're not quite anymore. How do you get the motivation to train to such a high level and keep your fitness so high? Yeah, it's, it can be tough to be honest. I mean, I, I've always actually weirdly enjoyed training. I mean, that's, that's a side of my game that I've never really struggled with. It's more the the motivation for, for squash which I, I struggled with. I've always been able to push myself in the gym and run and bike and all that side of things so I never really lose that much fitness. It's where, it's where my motivation for squash kind of ebbs and flows a little bit, dips. But you know I'm really, I've got to the phase of my, my career now where I, I am really enjoying playing squash and you know I, I enjoy competing, I'm competitive, I might not sort of be outwardly uh, show that necessarily. I'm quite quiet, but I, you know, I'm sort of fiercely competitive inside, and that's what I miss. That's what I've missed this last year because of because um, of coronavirus, and you know, that's what I look forward to doing and, and getting out and competing. So that's, I guess, where I get get my motivation from. You certainly were both very motivated tonight, considering there were no people <laughs> there, and we loved having you in this section of the Pro Squash Challenge, and hope you'll be back soon. And all the best for Egypt. Thanks very much. Congratulations, Deck, on a fine win 
against Tom. He really threw the kitchen sink at you today, didn't he? Yeah, we threw the kitchen sink at each other. It was, um, I thought it was really good quality, actually. It felt like a PSA quality match, so um, perfect. A couple of weeks out from Egypt to get you know some match practice like that. Yeah, yeah well, you, you played very well yourself. Um, the score ebbed, ebbed and flowed. Um, how, how much are you looking forward to playing in Egypt in completely different conditions to the night, I should imagine? Yeah, I'm more excited now after sort of getting a taste of competitive squash again. It's been a few weeks, obviously, since the English Nationals, and that's kind of the first taste that I've had of that level and quality since then. So it's a good reminder, actually, of what it feels like to play at that level again. So, yeah, looking forward to Egypt now. Great, well, good luck there. And um, who just tell the, the viewers who who's your main coach and who are your main influences on your game? Yeah, so I work with Nick Matthew now. Um, I have been for the last year or so. It's very fortunate to be working with him. You know, so he's uh, is and always has been actually since I was a junior a big influence on my game as well as you know James and and people like that. So yeah, starting to feel the effects of the stuff that we've been doing over the last six months, and hopefully that's starting to come out in my game now. Well, your game's certainly looking very complete. So all the best in the future, and we look forward to welcome, welcoming you back again to the Pro Squash Challenge in a few weeks' time. Thank you.